so there are different different types of clouds so these clouds are very very important so we can classify these clouds according to their shape according to their height from the ground so there are four major types of clouds first we have to classify them according to their height and shape so height wise if you see closest to the ground is a nimbus cloud above nimbus cloud you have a stratus cloud above stratus cloud you have a cumulus cloud and the highest clouds are the cirrus clouds cirrus clouds are so high that sometimes when you are traveling by the uh, traveling through aeroplane from window also you can see above aeroplane there are some clouds generally when aeroplane reaches at certain height there are no clouds over there but sometimes you can see little bit of clouds okay so cirrus clouds can go little higher than the even the, let us say troposphere okay so cirrus cumulus stratus and nimbus these are the four types of clouds four major types of cloud according to their height now let us understand their characteristics one by one so first cloud is a cirrus cloud now you can see over here you must have seen these types of clouds in the sky many times so these are like a feathery cloud these are the highest cloud so you can see 8000 meter to 12000 meter so they are almost touching the tropopause okay so they are very thin cloud they are very detached cloud okay they don't they are not going to give any rainfall because they are they 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 lack sufficient amount of um, moisture in them because of that they cannot give the rainfall so they are called as a cirrus cloud so they are thin and detached clouds they are feathery in the appearance they are always white in color okay you won't see they are in black colors so once clouds become black so the probability of rainfall increases so they are almost white in color okay now next type of cloud is a cumulus cloud so you can see this cumulus cloud okay so they appear like a cotton cotton ball okay we have seen the cotton ball okay so they look like this cotton ball and they are generally they are uh, independently or individually they are floating from one place to another place okay their bases are flat you can see their bases they are flat okay so these bases you can see they are flat so cumulus clouds they have flat bases and they are always scattered so you will see when this rainy season is appearing you will see these cumulus clouds are floating from one place to another place okay there it looks very beautiful okay nowadays on cities we don't see generally cumulus clouds but if, when you go to the villages you will see this cumulus cloud going from one place to another place okay so they have flat bases generally they don't give much rainfall yeah but they can give rainfall once they are sufficiently cooled they can give rainfall okay now after let us come down we come to the stratus cloud as name suggest they are like a sheet they are like a strata so whole sky will be, will be covered with the sheet of these clouds called as a stratus clouds so they are in the strata <coughs> these stratus cloud they are layered they can be also called as a layered clouds so they are in the form of layer <coughs> they are covering the the layer entire layer is covering the whole sky or and they also give the rainfall so generally you will see in the rainy season entire sky is covered with this stratus cloud which gives rainfall so they uh, these clouds generally they form when air masses are formed so air mass chapter we are going to see later or air mass part we are going to see later so this chap these clouds are very important for the rainfall now the closest cloud is a nimbus cloud closest to the surface of the earth is a nimbus cloud so you can see there are huge clouds they are black or gray in color they are very dark clouds they are the clouds which give highest rainfall among the four okay so they are literally not at all any transparent for the sun rays they will reflect the sun rays okay so they are very dense clouds and their vertical development is little high so these are called nimbus clouds so these are four basic clouds that we see in the sky now 
these clouds can be classified or they can they are, in the sky you will see that these clouds are not uh, like individual in appearance they can be mixed up that means stratus are mixed with a cumulus cumulus are mixed with a nimbus nimbus are mit, mixed with a uh, uh, let us say cirrus okay so in nature combination of clouds can appear or separate clouds can also appear in the nature so according to height wise these different different clouds can appear so for example combination of these clouds four basic clouds like on the highest level you can see zero stratus zero cumulus zero uh, cirrus clouds middle layer you can see alto stratus alto cumulus lower clouds strato cumulus nimbo stratus and cloud with extreme vertical development very close closer to the surface of earth is cumulonimbus and cumulus so out of that this cumulonimbus is a very very dangerous cloud it it creates storms it create heavy rainfall okay so they cumulonimbus are the most you can see over here these are the cumulonimbus clouds so vertical development is very huge on this cumulonimbus clouds they are related to thunderstorms gusty winds and huge amount of rainfall torrential type of rainfall so even if you are traveling through aeroplane and this aeroplane passes through these clouds it will shake very violently it will shake okay for a minute or so it will shake violently okay so this cumulonimbus clouds they are they have a huge rain in them huge water content in them okay so they will produce lots of lightning and fear in your mind okay so these are called as a cumulonimbus clouds so these are four important clouds and their combination in the nature 